project is PAPDU, Parabugs Biodispersal Unit. I'd like to start off with introducing our team. I'm Sarah Villegas. My name is Samuel Sanchez. I'm Luigi D'Antonio. My name is Sean McCarthy. So a little intro uh, to Parabug. Parabug is a salinas based ag tech startup focused on developing patent pending drone technologies. They use these drone technologies to disperse biologic materials over crop fields. And what this essentially means is by doing this, they can reduce the uh, cost of producing crops, which equates to cheaper food for you and I. Um, the problem they have with this project, though, while they've had success in automating the flight path of their drone, they have a nonlinear dispersal on their drone dispersing biological material, which essentially means that at the beginning of the flight, they're dispersing very little material, and towards the end of the flight, way too much material. So our solution to this was to develop a Raspberry Pi microcontroller that would regulate the speed of this dispersal. All right, so here's the solution broken down to two main components. First one involves that we have the microcontroller controlling the dispersal rate given some variables that are inputted from the second phase. Now the second phase involves a user interface that we made to be simple and intuitive for any client to be able to input uh, their flight values easily. And to see from the results, uh, the blue one will be the original, which has a more exponential curve. And with our results, we're able to make it a bit more uh, linear, which is what we're going for. For the mockups, we included two screenshots of the user interface. The first picture on top represented the main window of the interface. We included three variables, the time, the materials, and the drum size. The drum size and materials options are for future implementations. While this may appear to be simple, it was actually rather complicated to create. Multiple programming attempts had to be made in order <coughs> to, to get the right balance of all the variables involved. In the second picture below, after the user selected the time, it will start a countdown along with the motor. The user can start and stop the process as they want. And what we see here is actually the final product. Um, at the bottom is our Raspberry Pi microcontroller connected to the Parabug drum. So this is the whole thing. Lastly, we like to give a big thanks to our mentor Chandler and also Sophia. And if you guys have any further questions about our project, come meet us at our poster.